Alrighty then. Okay, so let's get into this. We will be going through Lucius' part now. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get through this in maybe one stream, because I know this is uh, shorter than Dante's part. I looked up, I think it's like 13 missions or so. Uh, not, uh, and uh, I, I honestly think that might try to go longer with this stream than I have previous streams, but w we'll see how it goes. Uh, this is a, this is actually the first time I've i even touched Lucius part, so this new ground for me and may, hopefully there will be something enjoyable to find here. Uh, um, I'll, I'll try to be more positive because looking back on the last stream, I think I was a bit too down even for this game. Uh, though I guess it did sort of mirror my actual uh. Uh, like first play through the game where I just like as the game dr dragged on more and more I just completely mentally checked out and just wanted to get it done with but well now like I said we're experiencing something new like I haven't done this before so at least uh I have the promise of uh unexpected uh trash to look forward to and uh do I go to load game or do I do new game? I honestly have no idea. Okay, no file on here, so new game then. Uh, I, bl I believe back on the, p the original PS2 release, the Dante uh, section and Lucia sections are on separate discs, so that's why it's like divided like uh, that in uh, uh, this, uh, like where you have to access, but where you have to choose between Dante and Lucia on the game select screen, but uh. Oh, and hi! So, so let's do a new game. And looks like we're getting the exact same opening cutscene as in DMC2. Oh, well, I, I guess that sort of makes sense because Lucy was there too. See, I think instead of like guns and stuff, she might have knives. I, I think, again, I basically know nothing about how Lucy plays or most of the stuff that goes on in this section. I think I know some plot things, not that that matters with the story of this game. I just realized how weird that conversation is. You called by. No, seriously, I guess maybe she marked like the map to tell him where to go, but it's like, I have some of you here. Later. Like, I, I think it was some, some try, like, trying to make it some sort of like cool and aloof exchange, but it makes them just look very confused instead. So. Uh, here we go, into uncharted territory. Uh, it looks like we're on like opposite side of this level from where Dante started, so I guess that's kind of neat. Are we going to where he was? Right. So let's see how she plays. Okay, yeah, that, well, like I thought, instead of gun, she has knives, throws them very fast, holy shit. Oh, wow. Alright, let's see what her... 
Oh yeah, we're gonna get all these these uh, red orb and stuff notifications again. Let's, let's see how this. Oh wow, that, that, those attacks actually look kind of fast and snappy, but I still can't cancel out of them, so that's pretty annoying. Ah, uh, let's see. That's the basic combo where I hold no direction. If I hold the direction, more kicky it looks like. Uh, does she have uh, high time? Yep, yeah, but with kicks. How about Stinger? Uh, she has like cartwheel kick, which maybe that explains like why Dante Stinger is so bad in this game. Because, like I said, I think it's like uh, Lucia might have been like an idea before like Dante and all the Devil May Cryness was inserted in the game. So like, if his if his stinger was like insert, like basically just copy pasted over like this cartwheel kick here, it explains why its range is so nothing. And, uh, well, from the look of this, I don't think so, seeing as we're basically starting from the opposite end of Mission Run 1 from where Dante started, though I do think we'll probably be going through a lot of the same locations and stuff. Let's see, anything else I'm missing out on? Let's see, weapons are Cutlassier, that's a name. Actions, the flip, yeah, air hike, kick jump, yeah, all the same stuff. Oh, she has, also has uh, to some time with the knives, huh? Stand on hands and kick enemies. Lock on the target and then press Y button at the same time landing on the ground after a jump. That sounds like a move you actually have to put effort into. Holy shit. I guess that's what her devil trigger looks like. No, but wait. Like, uh, can I do this if I'm, like, not locked on? All right. Uh. Oh. Holy crap. I... I actually have to think about what I'm doing to pull off that move. That's insane. It's almost like I'm playing a Devil May Cry game. But, well, I believe that's enough finagling around for now. Let's get to where we're going, I guess. Um, I'm not sure if I brought this up, but I think... Uh, uh, well, I guess th this might contradict the other idea that Lucy was thought of first before like this became a Devil May Cry game, but I don't know. Again, like, for as much as we know how bad the development of this game was, I, there's also plenty of people don't know about. So, uh, I think another, like, uh, idea behind Lucio is, like, uh, people wanted to play as uh, Trish back in Devil May Cry 1, and the, the sort of makeup for that, that's where the idea of Lucio came from. But, again, I don't know. I'll probably have to look into it more, or look into it for yourself. And I am officially lost, because that door is locked. Uh, let's see... I guess maybe we'll go towards that one house because that's where she was in the cutscene uh, during Dante's playthrough. But uh, it appears we can't head in this direction. Or maybe if I head down here? Okay. Hmm. Okay, so this is where for taking the. Uh, Based off the cutscene where we met up with her in Dante's playthrough, this is where she was at the end of Mission 1, though. That just ends up confusing me more because now I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Any, uh, demons want to fight me? I'm a little bored here. I do like her animations more than Dante's, though, a lot more flair into them. Okay, so, so what am I supposed to do? A map. What am I missing out on? Did I go this way? Yes, I did. We're off to a promising start here. This this, uh, this playthrough will surely be better than the last. I, I I feel it within my soul. Ah. Uh, do I examine the door? Because I think it's going to try and kill me. This door is sealed. F oh. 
Oh, it's a red orb door. Did, did I actually run into any of those it, during like the Dante playthrough? Because I thought those were only DMC1. So, I uh, guess I gotta go around getting orbs then. Fun times, though, I guess. Technically, that's also the fir very first thing you did in DMC1, so who might have complained? Well, only had to smash that one thing up to get uh, to my count of 45. And there we go. Alright. So, yeah, it looks like we're just basically going through mission one backwards. Oh, oh, this is the first time hearing this battle theme. Actually kind of nice. But let's see. Yep, knives are just as overpowered as the guns were in Dante's playthrough. But hang on, let me see if I can... Let me see if I can do that one move. Yeah. Doesn't look like it actually does much, but it looks cool at least. Huh. I don't know what it is, but I feel more compelled to, uh... Like, just actually try melee combat with Lucia, which... I It's weird, because I'm... her Overall, her combat feels mostly the same compared to Dante's, but... I guess maybe it's the animations? Maybe they just look nicer? Or maybe it just feels weird throwing the knives compared to just shooting the guns? I don't know, but I guess that's a good thing compared to the Dante playthrough. Like, it actually wants to make me do the main mechanics of the game. Let's see, what can Lucia buy? Most of the same stuff. Like, uh, uh, instead of guns, she has arsenal. Right, so yeah, upgrading her weapons and, yep, all the same items and stuff. Can you get this? She have amulet stuff, same as Dante. Yep, frost heart. So looks like her attacks are all icy and stuff. Again, not too sure if that matters. Oh, well, actually, now I'm thinking of Del Trigger, let's see, let's see how it is. Certainly looks cool, at least. Kind of angelicish. Oh, that, that's, that move kind of looks familiar. Like, I feel like, uh, I mean, I think, is that sort of like similar to the move Virgil has in the DMC4 Special Edition? I think it kind of is. Uh, just that rap, that, that, like, sm like, Continuous slashing combo there. But it's weird, like, the combat is like, it's, I don't think it's like at all different from Dante's, but I do feel like I'm having a bit more fun doing it, but well, let's see how long that lasts. I'm not even sure if her attacks are faster than Dante, or it's just like, like, like I feel like, sure, her, her attacks look faster, but I feel like in just one input, she's also putting more attacks in than Dante did. Like, compared to him, he'd just do, like, one swing while she's doing, like, a whole, like, mini combo, so I don't know if it's, like, actually faster. Oh, but, of course, we have these guys, so, out there, gonna be fun. Actually, I didn't, uh, try the, uh, knife attack during Devil Trigger, but holy crap, are those, like, homing? That, again, that's actually kind of cool. Okay, I think I'm now officially in the camp of people who want Lucia to come back for DMC5 because she's actually kind of fun, at least for now. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Let's see how long, again, let's see how long this lasts though. Still gonna be rolling everywhere because, well, fastest way to get around. Oh, that was deeper than I was expecting. Can I? Oh boy, I'm gonna have to walk back now, aren't I? 
Oh, I, yeah, get up here. I'm still trying to figure out why it feels more fun to play as Lucia, because her, overall her gameplay just feels like a, a slightly faster reskin of Dante's gameplay compared to like other playable characters in the series where they they would feel like completely different in their own thing, but I don't know, maybe that just like slight increase of speed is like the, the, all it needed. Like I'm still just mindlessly mashing the buttons, but I don't know, it feels sort of like... Or maybe because I'm not playing as Dante, I d I'm not expecting it to feel like a Devil May Cry game, so I'm just fine with it being like just some dumb hack and slash. I, I, I honestly don't know. Oh. There's that goddamn noise again. Like that, that rawr noise. Like, I remember it was like, that was in, we heard that in the Dante playthrough once too. I'm actually curious about where this falls in line, like, is this happening at, at the same time as Dante's Mission 1? Because I feel like if it was, we, we would have passed him, like, halfway through the level. Like, oh hey, how you doing? You fighting demons? Me too. Having more fun doing it than you are, though. Okay, yeah, and that, and that jump attack, it doesn't look like it, the, it, it is worth the more effort that goes into it because it does look like it gets your style rank up almost like an actual Devil May Cry game. Uh, I, I mean, I'm hearing it through the headphones and I've only ever heard that noise while playing this game, so I'm assuming it's from the game. Looks like there's a blue orb atop this statue here. Ah, uh, hmm, let's see, uh, maybe I can get up here, no, up here maybe, and then, oh yeah, here we go. I was trying to see if uh, Lucia maybe would have, I actually am kind of enjoying myself playing as a Lucia, I did not expect that, like, again, I heard it hurt her, her Hers was playthrough was supposed to be better, but I didn't expect it to actually be somewhat enjoyable. I'm sure this... I got a bad feeling this like feeling won't last for long. Like, it might just be the novelty of me doing something different, but... I'll try to hold on to that feeling as long as I can. And I guess we just have to go through the door here. Alright, mission one. I got an A rank. Okay. And uh, looks like I don't have to worry about overriding my Dante save file compared to like DMC3 where you have to worry about that with Dante and Virgil. Mission 2. The aerial heart will give us. Alright, looks like we're getting the flying upgrade again in Lucia's playthrough too. Let's see, uh, uh, get a blue orb, always handy. Oh, and now we're going to new locations too. Cause, well, with Dante, we just started uh, on top of this like, uh, clock tower, church tower, whatever it was. Oh, it looks like we're gonna fight some more goats. Huh. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll save that thought for later when it comes up. Because I, I have heard of, like, one section that most people agree is, like, pretty damn bad. So, I'm living in dread of that a little bit. We are the goatlings! How dare you hit our sacred ball! That's really our only purpose in life, to just be stone creatures around this ball, so... Meh, our lives suck. 
our ball was disturbed and now we're getting easily destroyed. You don't even look like you're having that much fun. You just seem like you're having a, a moderate amount of fun doing it. Yeah. So this is the aerial heart, I'm guessing. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I was almost expecting them to reuse Dante's animation for it. I was not expecting to be pleasantly surprised by DMC2 of all things today, but... Well, here we go. Of course, it looks like all the enemies and stuff are the same, so not much. I can talk about like you know, my strategy going just fighting them, but it's just more just wail on them until they die though. Again, because the combat feels a little more fun, I do feel more compelled to get like the higher ranks and stuff. Okay, she sort of did a diving attack or sort of thing when I went to like throw knives at that one guy, but I don't know if that was just uh, uh, just uh, just her like like succumbing to gravity. I suppose I, I don't know how to talk good. That's why I do this uh, thing that's primarily based on speech. Perspective was a little weird there. Oh, blue orb. No, go away, demons. I want, I want my orbs. No, my orbs. Oh, did I get these guys to spawn again? Oh well. Again, since I'm actually having a bit of fun with the combat this time around, I don't mind it. So. Oh, they were just darts in that statue, I guess. I said the game gave me an indicator to figure that out. Multiple swords can be thrown at once. I guess these are a throwing weapon? Yeah, is is this like uh, Lucy's version of the shotgun? That's what the description is kind of telling me. Huh. Oh, give it a try for now. Uh, this camera angle is fantastic. Like that was bad even for Del McCry standards. Again, sorry if I don't have much to talk about while I'm just sitting around finding demons, because uh, for as much better as the comic feels, it's still DMC2, so I'm, ba I'm still just sort of sleepwalking through it. But at least I'm having nice uh, dreams, I suppose. I, that metaphor got away from me. Yeah, I do like her battle theme, and actually just sort of reminiscent of DMC1 compared to 
Well, I don't even remember what Dante's battle theme sounds like. There's gonna be another weapon hidden in this statue, cause... It, 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 now I'm paranoid that I'm just gonna... Like, there are gonna be some easy to miss weapon and stuff, which to be fair I did miss one weapon during the Dante playthrough, but... At least I knew about its existence. I don't know too much about Lucy's playthrough, so if I miss something I won't even know. That worries me. All right, looks like Marty full up. I think I'm gonna switch back to the uh, throwing daggers. They were a little faster, and also feels better using them against like flying enemies like these, which uh, is still about as fun as they were to fight as Dante. So uh, that's one downside against Lucy, I suppose. Actually, probably even less fun considering the the knives are probably about the same as Ebony and Irie, but the, like they just don't feel as strong, you know. I will say, and I don't know if I brought this up earlier, but I do really like the design of her devil sugar. It's very, uh, nice angelic design to it, which is weird for a demon to have, but, I uh, will enemy designs in later games show that isn't entirely strange, I guess. Uh, this guy. So, looks like we are going to be reusing some of the bosses from Dante's playthrough. Let's see. Actually, I'm not sure if I could do this as Dante, but it looks like if I'm hitting them in Devil Trigger, I can stun lock them a bit. So, that's kind of nice. Darn. I'm actually upset about losing my combo. Who would have thought? Wasn't that bad? <laughs> oh, it looks like we're getting a new weapon. It actually presented to us instead of just sort of being there compared to the ones in Dante's campaign. Again, that sort of... I feel like sort of lends more like credence to the idea that this was more intended to be Lucia's game before all the Devil May Cry was thrown in. So... Like, this feels like there's more thought put in these segments, I guess. Arcana Spada. It sounds like I was trying to say something else, but I had a very, like, Bostonian accent or something. Hey, you want your Arcana Spada here? I'm like, I... Like, I feel like it's trying to say Arcana, Arc, well, Arcana, Arc, 
Tana, like this probably right, but it feels like Sparta would have had the R removed. One of the holy reckons that was when she used the seal great team. Oh, this is one of the MacGuffin things that Lucia acquired completely off screen during Dante's playthrough, so I guess it's nice that we'll actually see her get some of these. Oh, and now we got Blue Orb. I guess we're gonna have to jump off there in a second, but let's look around so you can find some red orbs. Oh, I accidentally ran off that wall. So I guess right before uh, Dante completed mission one, Lucia was just swimming through for all the way from the clock tower to the end of the mission, which I suppose that does sort of ask like, like why didn't Dante just do that? Like maybe he was just a distraction. Like, hey, we'll get this loser to fight all these demons while we just walk around them. Let's move on. And yeah, here we are at the end of mission one for Dante. Okay, I feel like it's become even more blatant just how nothing Dante is in this game where we're not even playing as him. It's like, why are you here? What is your purpose? old lady's kind of cool and just like the sort of way that she gives absolutely zero shits that her house just exploded. You have arrived, son of Sparta. That feels almost like some that Devil May Cry character would do. You knew him? It looks like it took him a, a moment to process like just the what she said like thinking, thinking, you knew him? Like, maybe this isn't Dante, maybe this is just the Dante bot he sent in his place. I mean, he certainly acts robotic enough. You know, if someone ever builds a tower that looks like that that one, I feel like they you're justified to like put a warrant out for them just like on suspicions of being evil. Like I don't see a philanthropist living in a building like that, you know. No, that guy, the guy who lives in that building is trying to summon the forces of hell. Who would have thought? Oh, this looks new. And even in Lucy's playthrough, one, one of these things is obtained off screen. She just had one. It's gonna be similar to mission two for Dante. She has many arms, but only one heart as she would. Oh, is this the tentacle thing? I hated that thing. So goddamn annoying. Oh, uh, no, I do not want the vital star. I'm actually gonna upgrade the sword damage. So I've actually been using those a fair lot compared to. Again, I'm sorry if I bring this up a lot, but I can't help it compared to Dante playthrough. And. No, oh, no, looks like we just completely skipped past that underground part and are just in the city now. Not gonna complain about that. Like, that underground part wasn't, like, particularly fun from what I remember. It was very boring. Which, uh, compared to the, like, 
if I can say like a particular part is boring in this game, that means it's fucking boring. Oh, Jesus Christ. I think it... Something about the way I kill these guys is getting like some stuck in like the like level like architecture or something. Like that's gotta be what's making that noise. Gotta fight that goat as her too. Okay. Like, is this the same one we fought as Dante? Or, like, did he have a brother who just liked to do the exact same thing of just, like, making this kill tunnel? Like, at least. If it is the same one that Dante fought, that does sort of like beg the question: Did he not kill him? Like, that, 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 like, what's going on here? Or like, or like, assume if this took takes place before the part where Dante went through here, did Lucia not kill him? Very weird. I don't know why, but I'm, I'm feeling cautious of gorillas. Alright, new swords. Uh, let's see. Standard swords or swords with wide range. Let's see, do they play any different? Uh, doesn't look like it. Don't even seem that slower, so I guess I'll stick with them. Sorry about that. And compared to like Dante, where I, I just had like an attachment to the design of Rebellion, I really don't with uh, Lucy's weapon, so I don't feel like any trouble just swapping them out. I'm gonna assume this is after Dante's playthrough, which is gonna explain why we didn't get jump by the gorilla again and why that door was already open. Like Dante already did it, which I guess makes sense uh, based on a cutscene where. Dante went ahead while Lucy stuck around this uh, talk with the uh, old lady. Looks like this part still has the problem of just encounters that drag on way too long. Not too surprised it's still random. But it does feel shorter than when Dante did it. Hmm. Oh, that, that attack works great for when I'm in groups like that. Still a little finicky to pull off though, not the most intuitive thing. But like the sort of stuff you pull off in like DMC three or so, but that's eh, better than nothing.
back here again. Are we gonna get the uh, upgrade for increased speed like we did in the Dante part? Am I also gonna have trouble platforming up here like I did as Dante? Yes, I am. Is the falling animation still gonna look like the most awkward thing on the goddamn planet? The answer, once again, is yes. Ah, uh, crap, how'd I get up here? Oh, shit. So, what the? Hey, Dan, let me do a second jump there. You all saw that, right? I'm not crazy. Well, I am, but not in that particular instance. God damn it. Does Lucy not have as high a jump as Dante did? This, that, that. this doesn't feel right. Oh wait, does Lucy still have the thing Dante had where if I th uh, do the, the range attack in the air, she rises up? Maybe I can use that to like help extend my jump a little. Like jump, throw knives, and then double jump. Assuming I can get up there again. Come on! Haha, hmm. -ha, you have been conquered! Yeah! I did it! First try. Did I make that exact same joke when I did that as Dante? Okay. Pretty sure I did the exact same joke, but in the exact same part. Looks like I have to deal with these guys to move on. So overall, looks like this mission is uh, a rehash of the Dante one minus the uh, fight with the Loran Guerrero. Was that it? Well, monkey thing. Well, I guess that's kind of a shame. It was nice where. For a bit where Dante had, or Lucy had some unique missions to her. Well, hopefully we'll get some more coming up. This is the speed heart or whatever it was called. Oh no, this is the healing heart. Huh. Oh wait, can I go up here? Well, I guess I could just fly too. No, I hate fun. Nope, don't gotta deal with you guys. Later. I guess maybe the door is just open. I guess so, huh? Did I ever trick that? Oh yeah, I did trick down here in Dante playthrough. I ran into being this thing there last time too. And it's all red orbed out. All the like pure wet side dodges actually kind of make me think of The Witcher. So, nice of this game to make me think of better games while playing it. it gives me what well, as long as I'm thinking of those games I feel like I'm almost having fun 
Yep, looks like we have to fight this thing again. Really, all this is doing is showing me that apparently Dante is really inefficient at finishing these demons off. Nope. Stay locked on on the center, damn it. And yep, Lucia still gets the dumb poison effects, just like Dante. Stay locked on the center. There we go. Um, I believe this is mission three. I have to fight this dumb thing again. It does look like I'm doing decent amounts of damage to it with each, like, attack, so that's fine, I guess. Come on. Did that limb just immediately go away and regrow, or did I just, m like, m misconstrue what happened? Because if it was what I thought happened, I'm going to be very angry. Yes, just completely eviscerated off screen. Why is this such a basic attack so hard to dodge? Okay. Got an opening. Hopefully we can finish it off now. Nope. Oh, focus on the goddamn center, please. Just end it now. End it now. Thank God. Yeah, even on Lucia's playthrough, that thing is still a pain in the fucking ass. Looks like Lucia ain't getting no motorcycle. Though it does bring the promise of maybe we're going to a new area again, so that's nice. Dodge flame tubes and now grate through the cracked city streets so that when the time comes, their path will be shown. That sounds like an actual mission description instead of one of the weird, like, quote things they had before. What the hell? Oh, I'm gonna upgrade the swords I'm actually using now. Play more. Are these just weird spellings of actual sword names? Because, like, at least, like, this is sort of like a Cutlass, but, like, with Cutlass Seer. Whereas this is, this is just Claymore, but spelt weird. What's up with that? Oh! Ah. Uh, what? No, seriously, what? She walked down the stairs, and then suddenly she dropped out of the sky in the city. What? Huh? What? I am very confused. Oh, these are actually new enemies. 
still seem to die as easy as the rest, though. Oh, jeez. Got grab attacks, though. So that's not nice. Yep. And not... It, it doesn't look like I can break out of them without devil trigger. So, looks like I actually have to be wary of these guys. Like, I think that initial high of, uh... Me actually being able to experience something different in this game has worn off, but there's still some, like, little bits of fun I'm able to identify, and I'm enjoying that. Oh, here's that thing now. Oh, well, it did sort of become a regular enemy in Dante's playthrough. I think I only fought him once, though. Like, after it was a boss fight, so... That was weird, where you just fight a boss again with absolutely zero fanfare to it. Holy shit, did this did this thing go down as easy when I was playing as Dante? I do not think it did. Oh, goddamn birds. Ah. Holy shit, there's someone shredding on that guitar around here. Ah, I finally f did not fall into that trap of going back to where I came because the camera angle is weird. And we gotta fight the tanks again. Okay, it looks like it's only one tank this time. And What the hell? They're actually treating as a boss fight this time? That is very weird compared to how in Dante's playthrough just walked through. There were three of them and they were just treated as like barely mini bosses I think. And yet now I fight one of them and it's giving it a boss meter. Yeah, I'm not feeling particularly threatened. Yeah, this this one tank is not at all particularly threatening compared again to the three ones I fought before. And I doubt anyone's gonna play Lucy as a playthrough before they play Dante, so it's not like this was like this was intended to be the boss fight and then the later they become regular enemies. Which even then they still didn't, it was still just like a short mini boss encounter. Oh god, please tell me I don't have to fight the fucking helicopter again. Sorry about that, I think I was just holding the controller straight up to the mic, so if you heard all the button presses and st stuff, I apologize for that. Please, no. Oh wait, I think that's just our, our this is helicopter, thank god. Well, that was a short mission. Not that I'm complaining. Blah, blah, blah. Grab a purple orb. I feel like Del Trigger's been running out a bit too fast.
Okay, again, I somehow just randomly wandered into this weird research facility thing, and I have no idea how. Though, know, this is just the second time in a row Lucy has just teleported to where to plot demands, I guess. So I feel less weirded out by it than Dante did when I did with Dante, because this is far less strange than D Lucy just randomly dropping out of the sky after going down a staircase. Oh, whoa, that was almost, that was actually a somewhat different looking combo. It was like, air karate kicks. Like, I don't think that was it. It was like, I, I have no idea how that pulled it off and I'm disappointed that I don't know because it actually looked kind of cool. I do like how it, when you do ranged attacks in the air, Lucy just sort of becomes a knife helicopter. It's a tornado of stabby death. Was that where I came from? Yeah, I think it was. Nope, nope, I already fought you guys. Screw you. Oh, damn it. What a useful hallway. Oh, and I'm already at the plane that Dante encounters. I'm not sure if this is how I remember the architecture of this area being. I like when we did as Dante. Though. The door did say open, so maybe that was a locked door during Dante's playthrough. Who knows? Well, or I guess anyone who goes back and watches the old playthrough and compares to this would know. Just gonna run into the back. Oh, damn it. Now, let's see. Any purpose to going in this plane? Does not look like it. Hmm. So it does leave me a little lost right. Oh, there's a the door. Power has been supplied to all doors. I guess there were some locked doors earlier that I missed or I did run into and I immediately forgot about. Oh no, is it like, do I go through here? What in the hell? Oh no, I guess it's just an effect from the fan turning on. What, what the actual hell is supposed to be going on there? It's very weird looking. What is the purpose of these walls? Wait, was there another door in here maybe? Okay, take a quick Look around. No, this hallway is still completely useless. Maybe somewhere in. Uh, yeah, I'll get I'll get to you in a second, demons. I just need to figure out where the hell I'm going. Uh, maybe this door. Oh, uh, yes, actually. Yes, it is. What the? I guess just randomly getting this or... Oh, I thought we were getting another amulet or something, but... 
No, seriously, what the hell? Evil heart. A demon stone that will absorb the possessor's power. Like, oh, yeah, this, I guess even this game has the part of the game where it just decides to sap at your health. I would like to know where the hell that thing came from. Am I at war with the sky now? Are the clouds gonna kill me now? I'll take on the sky if I have to, I just wanna know what I'm up against. Okay, and looks like Devil Trigger does heal us faster than the health drain, so that's nice. Like there's another gem up there. Maybe someone will cancel out the evil heart. I don't know. I actually forget what uh, amulet piece I got from up there when I was a Dante. I think it's one of the explodey things there. Yep. You know, I actually think just running as Lucy might actually be quicker than running compared to how I think it was quicker for Dante to roll. Huh. Uh. You gonna explode there yet, buddy? There we go. Oh, jeez. Just grab some more DT. And uh, also some red orbs, because why not? It's not like we're dying or anything. Oh, wait. And let's get flying. Gimme. Flame heart. Oh, nope, just gives us fire attacks. Just like, I think that is the exact same one I got as Dante in that part. Uh, is there a door down here I'm supposed to go into? Guys, uh, this. Alright. A lot of these doors just look like textures, which, like, just, that just blend in, so it's kind of hard to tell which one I'm supposed to go through. Isn't there a lava here as Dante? Am I gonna put the lava here? Am I gonna cause trouble for Dante? Huh. Is this the zapping system? I did try to go through this door, didn't I? Door is closed tight. Okay. Oh, but I did not go through this door though. Ah, uh, let's see, anything I can get from here. Door is closed tight, huh. That's a problem. Hmm. Am I supposed to go in this vent? I'm actually kind of lost now. Hmm. 
Is this something I can go through? Nope. Lava tunnels. Where am I supposed to go? Hmm. Is there something I missed in here? Like some up here? No. Could I turn one of these things on maybe? No. Swap DT back on. Oh. Oh! That was not at all clear. I literally managed to progress just by running in circles by jackass and accidentally running into where it's supposed to go. Electro heart. I immediately got two elemental hearts just by accident. So, I guess we're fighting things electrically now. Oh. More goats. Oh, wow, that got my combo up fast. Stop hurting me. It's not nice. I just want to kill you. Is there really so much to ask? Go up the elevator. Yes, I do. Oh, no, I want the red orbs. Let me off this ride. Now I'm playing DMC2. You're shooting at off screen enemies. Back in familiar territory. Mission 4, I believe it was. Alright. Um, I think I'm going to keep going, but I think I might also just uh, s stop and start the recording again so I can keep the video at around an hour, so just give me a moment.